Frankie explains to the family that Raymond's gay and that's all right. But the neighbors are going to be saying unkind things and here's how you handle that. Exactly, man. He's always touching guys when he talks to them. I don't believe it. Look. He makes me really uncomfortable. Have you ever asked him about it to his face? John, if you were a fag, would you admit it? Come on, Ben. Look, I am not going to go on any rafting trips with any fags. It's as simple as that, OK? First of all, I don't know he's a fag. Now, you want to go rafting or not? It's not always clear just what a homosexual is. This film was made with the hope that it would start a free and open discussion in the classroom. Suppose you were in Ben's or John's place. What would be your reaction? Well. When you get into like, the, oh, wow, I'm a sissy or I'm a faggot or something like that, and people get really offended, I think you're not owning it in the right way, you know? And we have to, we have to. I feel bad about saying all this in kind of so, you know, definitive, definitive terms. terms. A, this is my opinion. <laughs> I'll just be very clear about it. Really liked um, the intro with I the static roll and the emphasis on the tape rolling. Um, the old videos from the 1970s uh, to 2015 really showed the contrast between pride parades um, and the level of energy as well and how the energy has changed over time. Um, I love the emphasis on different modes of music and it was really interesting to see the media overlap in the way that it does. Uh, it was super neat. So... I also liked the introduction to Ray um, before the start credits. Um, I thought it was a really loud entrance for him. Loud indeed. Uh, storytelling was incredible here. Um, it had this tone and this attitude. Um, parts of it were really funny, parts of it were really tragic. Um, halfway through, I sort of forgot that I was going to review it. I was just really enjoying my my long walk in, in the history of the LGBTQ2 community. Um, it was really well balanced and very right, especially when it comes to um, comfortable people uh, and their inability to change. If you're comfortable, you don't change. Um, I didn't really know how important Ray was to the movement before. Um, but I'm really grateful to him now and thankful to all the activists who have done work in the past and continue to do work um, in our communities. So Loudmouth Queer really spoke to me and uh, it was a really remarkable film overall. Wonderful testimony to the life of Ray Hill and others who fought for the rights in the United States of lesbians, gays and trans people and it actually was brilliantly done, and it often juxtaposed the most horrific clips of TV and film and interviews and just people who had incredible homophobia and how that will not fly now because of the people like Ray Hill who worked hard for the rights of this group. It's an amazing film, it's a very important film, well done. This one is just great, um, just, really well done it's definitely a deep dive into um you know ray hill namely and a lot of the activism that uh has gone on over the decades for the lgbt movement it's it's great journalism it's a great documentary piece it's really well edited and directed there's some great style to this one too even just the the motion, the uh, lower thirds, are really great choices all around. They tell this really sprawling story in a very neat and tidy way. Um, and they just do it with a lot of style and uh, just a lot of attention to uh, keeping things interesting. Because, I mean, the story itself is interesting, but it'd be easy to just get lost in it. Um, so it was focused. Yeah, interesting and really well presented is absolutely worth checking out you know it's so deep when they talk about like realizing when they knew they were gay and like how how they had to understand from that moment how that would shape their lives forever and how that would make them you know be different or be othered in their communities um it's very sad um there was like this uh, clip of uh I guess it was like the 50s or the 60s where they were showing um, 
like some men in a gay bar and a lot of them were like hiding their faces and it's really sad because you can tell that like they knew the repercussions of what would happen if they were seen at like a place like that at a gay bar and it's very sad how they like they knew what that meant for them and how they had to protect themselves um it was also the stories were you know crazy hearing about how they had to react in these bars when like cops would come especially like specifically with the woman when they told the stories about how they would have to like run to the bathroom and like like change the direction of the zipper of their pants from being in the front to either being in the side or in the back because if it was in the front it was considered cross-dressing um you know all their stories were so brave and you know like it just like it hits me personally like hearing these stories and knowing how different it is for me like or for us now in 2020 compared to how it was back then and i feel like like all their struggles and everything that they had to go through was so that it would be easier for people you know of my day and age and it was just such a strong and passionate story and i hope that all of their stories get out to more people and i hope they have the same reaction as me i loved how the camera would focus um, and pick up certain details like the way um his hands were shaking um while holding the microphone and telling the story about his friend and i thought the way that the music matched the scenes and the editing was wonderfully done uh, I liked how there was voices from the community, people he worked with um, in the past, in the present, and kind of also seeing how they went from young passion activists to established um, change makers within within their world. Um, it was also really interesting to just kind of like see the history going backwards from 2019 or whenever it started and just kind of like seeing that what was and what is now and kind of like how far we've come and also how far there still is to go um i liked how the media clips were included in the editing i thought that really gave great context about the past and i say this as a millennial um who's not that aware of history so it was really cool to see the extent and the impact of things that I kind of take for granted as a millennial living in 2020 um, with quite a few more rights and it, it was really cool to kind of like see the story of the activist who was behind changing the world in his own lifetime so it was really cool what a remarkable rich and purposeful life Ray Hill had lived I thought this was profound storytelling just a well-organized history lesson, a uh, great piece to garner aware awareness for these trailblazers and unspoken heroes. I thought they did a fantastic job editing this piece with exceptional footage. Just thought it was so well put together and set forth in a way that was open and inclusive and really setting a tone for understanding. I thought it was interesting that the transgender was not originally included in the beginning and it would, wanted to be kept as a separate movement and I don't understand that but I wasn't involved at that time and understood, wasn't there to understand what, why those decisions were made. Um, I thought, I was really struck by comfortable people don't change and how so true that is and but how simply put and I really, that just kind of sat with me and I just really think this was just a great piece of filmmaking and actually interesting to watch it now especially after Pope Francis just um, recognized gay rights and that um, same-sex civil unions and how profound that is and just thought the timing is just perfectly aligned with this film and it just just makes you wonder just I don't understand why everyone isn't accepted and valued as an individual and respected as such you know not 
determined by gender or sexual preference or race or political views. We just We're all in this together and I don't understand why we can't all understand that. But I thought Loudmouth Queer was just a great, great um, film brought forth. Fantastic documentary about Ray Hill and about the amazing work that he did for the LGBTQ community in his life of advocacy and protesting and straight up campaigning for human rights. And it's not just his story, right? We see so many stories really told within Ray's life because of the, the many, many people that he interacted with throughout, including people that, of course, we all know and admire, like Harvey Milk, um, and a lot of those people are fortunately a part of the documentary and we get to hear their, their own stories as well and how Ray touched their lives and what their journeys were like. Of course, no documentary on the LGBTQ history in the U.S. can be told without mentioning Anita Bryant. So, <laughs> um, but I thought her section in particular was quite thoughtful, especially the part where it's revealed by one of the uh, interviewees that Anita Bryant's husband called her and apologized to her. I thought it was a really interesting perspective on how homophobia um, shouldn't be compared to a trend as something as frivolous as a trend, but it certainly is something that has evolved over time. And Anita Bryant really is the example of the consequences of bigotry on uh, somebody's reputation. So I thought it was a great way of showing that. I think the intersectionality discussions are absolutely fantastic about race, about um, transgender people who are often left out of the conversation of gay and lesbian rights and certainly were left out for years. I thought it was great that the documentarian acknowledged that as a part of the story. It's really well put together the, from the interviews to the images use the the footage uh, made available how it's given context through the interviews it's really beautifully done very very good one of a kind character and i really enjoyed watching him grow and fight for rights that shouldn't be taken away or denied to anyone anyways it was um, an amazing film i really enjoyed the editing of this one it kept me very on the edge and all the bits and pieces of different pictures and movies and posters and news from the, from the past it was great it was a great edition um, I love the story of this person that has had this revolutionary thinking and absolute resolution to claim his place and everyone else's place in the world I really enjoyed learning about this iconic character and others in the past um, that fought so hard to dignify and I'm so happy to see that he got to experience some of the results that he so vividly and strongly fought for his entire life. Uh, even in jail and out of jail and in the hospital and with so many obstacles uh, I commend the filmmakers this was an amazing film <laughs>